Yo, what up, it's SK1Beats, and today I'm gonna show you how to create MPC style sound banks using machine groups. There could be a few reasons why you want to do that. Number one reason, you're switching from MP to machine. Two, you're using both. Three, you want to be able to apply effects or edit one particular chop without affecting the rest. So let's get straight into it. So here we have uh, 32 or more chops, for example. So if I would want to create a program or a group in machine, I would take that and I would drag it into a group. But the thing is, it's only giving me a 16 pads. I can access the rest of the pads. I can access my other 16, so the second bank. The way it works in machine two, if you want, if you have a multiple chops like more than 16, and you want to be able to access your whole thing, you can only do that through the keyboard mode. That's why you would throw this in one sound. And as you see, we have the whole range of the chops now. And you will go up and active to access the rest of your chops. But when you create it that way, you can only edit the whole thing. You can't edit a separate chops like here. So if you would want to, for example, apply some particular effect on this sixth chop, you would go and go ahead and just put it in there or you for example wanna reverse the six chops so you would go sampling and you would go and you would apply reverse on that so if you want to have a two solid sound banks and you wanna of course apply those effects and just quickly arrange your sample through pressing group on machine whilst your drums are playing for example or it's just much quicker and, and, and it's just uh, more convenient to you just to press one button and keep arranging your sample rather than going in the keyboard up and active it's kind of suck so that's kind of the workflow I come up with so when you chop in your sample and you know, for example, you might know that this is 16 chop and this is this is where I'm gonna have my one sound bank ready. You just go ahead, take those 16 pads and drag it into a pre-made bank. Boom, so you know this is gonna be your first 16. Or, for example, if you had already chopped everything and you know this is going to be my 16th pad on the first bank, you just delete those first 16 and you take those second 16 and drag it into a pre-made bank. And this way you can apply your choke the same way as the other group. And you can, of course, apply your tune. And then, if you hear, for example, one chop needs different pitch, you can do that. I mean, you now you can have a full, full access to switching each sample differently. You can have one one shot, and the other you can have ADSR. I mean, it's all up to you. And you have all your banks here in machine in a group so you are accessing it just by pressing on a group so it's much better for the workflow it's much quicker much more convenient so i have here when i arrange my beat i have here one part arranged for the verse flipped and arranged and another part arranged for the hook so this way when i play my beat This kind of workflow is more convenient and it's just, especially if you're switching from MPC to machine because for me it took a while to get used to it and learn how things work. But 
this is the, this is important so if you really want to edit the one particular job or multiple jobs without affecting the others this is the only way you can go about it so please let me know if you like that tutorial if it helped you or maybe if you have some questions about machine trying to type it in a comment below and subscribe to our channel push that like button and have a great time peace